Hi, so somebody asked me to look at memristors. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Uh, but they're a device that if you apply a current to them, it changes their resistance and it remembers that resistance. So when you change the current, you change the resistance and it rem remembers the change in resistance. And they had asked me to have a quick look. And I thought I would do, why not? Uh, and I made one, a basic one, using this stuff, which is graphene oxide. Now, here is the mem resistor here and I'll go through the details of the construction in a minute, but you can see that the reading is 193 ohms. It's actually 0.193 ohms, and it's stable at that. Now, I've connected it to a 12-volt battery, and if I change that 12-volt battery over, you'll see the resistance changing, because it's now measuring the battery as part of the system too. Just give that a few seconds. You can see the resistance has changed and it's now stable at 160 ohms. So I've got a um, 30 ohm change in resistance by swapping those over. Then if I swap them back again, give it a few seconds. It goes back up. So there we go. A simple mem resistor device based on graphene oxide. So let's have a look at it a bit better. That is just to hold everything in place. On top of it is a big old metal weight, again to hold everything in place. And then what I've got here are two pieces of aluminium. So I pull them apart, we've just got aluminium there and it's on polypropylene as it happens and you'll see that there are three leads attached to it. One lead goes to the meter. This lead goes to the other plate, because of course what we've got here with graphene oxide being an insulator is essentially a capacitor. So joining the two plates together means that there's no current involved here. It's not storing as a capacitor would store, it's neutralizing itself. And then the other one went to the battery. On the reverse plate, I've got the other battery lead, the battery going to the, uh, sorry, the lead going to the meter and then the lead going to the other plate to neutralise it. And on that plate, what we've got is a layer of aluminium and then a layer of graphene oxide that I've put on there and let dry. So I'll draw that system up on the board. So, in this uh, quick demonstration mem rista, what we had was a layer of aluminium, a layer of graphene oxide, and then another layer of aluminium. And that was basically it. The aluminium layers we connected to each other to stop it uh, functioning as a capacitor, really. And then we connected that to the battery. And then we connected the meter across there as well. The on meter across there. And then what we did was swap the battery leads over. And as we had the battery leads in one position, we got one resistance reading. When we swapped them over, it changed the resistance reading. And what's more important, the resistance reading was 30 ohms apart and stable. So we have here an ink system for painting memristors. Now, obviously that's a bit rough and ready, so there's an awful lot of things you could do with that. But I think that that is a basic system that could be explored for developing memristors much more than I've already done on the bench top with a clamp and a bit of a battery. But I thought that might be of interest to you, and I hope that it is, and thank you for watching.